Hello, I am Rachel Weaver, and today on Be You Babe, I really want to talk about the single most important document in your business. And I'm not talking about financial, I'm not talking about, mm -mm. I'm talking about a document that will save you time, probably make you money if you do it right. And ultimately guide you on your way as an entrepreneur in your business. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about your manifesto. Your manifesto is a document that I started writing for clients almost from the very beginning of writing copy. I quickly noticed that most entrepreneurs didn't have a document that encompassed all of these different facets of their messaging in one place. There was, you know, you'd maybe do an ideal client study over here and that was lived in a different folder and maybe you'd have a mission thing, um, study that you did over here and all of it was like scattered all over, right? And none of it was pulled together into one document, which ultimately made them feel scattered in their messaging too. And they didn't, you know, it felt like they couldn't pull these pieces together. So that's what the manifesto does. And the thing that I've noticed as my business has grown even is that this manifesto is also serving me in my growth and allowing me to hire contract workers, uh, like my VA, um, social media help, and they're instantly able to come into my business and get a quick snapshot of what I'm doing, where I'm going and how I'm doing it. Right instantly knowing and identifying who I am, right? And then they in turn can go, I love what you're doing and I want to support you. So the thing I'm also seeing with hiring contract help is that they're, they're here to do a job, right? Um, it can be one of two things. They're either here and they just kind of show up and do the work or they truly have a stake and um, truly feel connected to the work that you're doing and therefore they want to be a part of it. And I don't know about you, but I know I want that latter person. I want the person that wants, that believes in my message just as much as I do and is ready to like put their whole heart into the work that they're doing for me. Because ultimately, that's going to grow my business and attract the right people just as much as it's, you know, is important for me to put my positive energy into it. Right. So this manifesto also really helps when you're, you hit those plateaus and you're questioning whether you want to do business at all. (laughs) We've all been there. Every entrepreneur has felt like that. It felt like they want to throw in the towel. They don't want to do this anymore. In this document, when you go, whenever I hit that feeling where I'm like, I don't know if I want to continue or this just feels really hard, I go back to this document and look at why I'm doing this. What makes me special and what can I really do and serve in a really big and powerful way? And instantly I'm like, that's, this is why I'm doing it. This is, this is worth the struggle, right? It's worth fighting through the things and the challenges that I'm facing. So I want to say there's lots of different things we could put in this document, but there are five things that are the most important to have in this document. The rest of it is just kind of nice to have. But these five things I wanted to give you if you wanted to try and write this document on your own, in your own business. And the first one is your brand mission. Where are you going? What is the point of being in business? I know that we all want to make money. Like that's kind of the point of having a business, but that's not the mission of your business. What is your mission by serving your clients? So for me, it's really, truly helping you express your soul's message. Like that's my mission. I want to help as many entrepreneurs as possible express their soul's mission and really build this business. That's the result of it is is you end up building a business that you love and that uh, lights you up and you get to like, you're excited to show up every day, right? What is your mission? Where are you going? 
with this business. We all need that U um that USP. Your when you put it in the U. Oh my God, like any of um when you put it into a map and you know where you're going, your destination. We all need a destination. There we go. We all need a destination of where we're going, and that's really what your mission is. So writing that mission statement will allow you to stay connected to where you're going while you're on your way there. Because I know for me, I forget where I'm going sometimes. <laughs> nice to have a reminder. <laughs> the second thing is your brand voice. Obviously, I've been messaging and copying. You need a brand voice, right? This is huge when you're hiring social media managers and things like that. If they're writing content for you, they need to know what your brand voice is. They need to know the language that you use, the, um, the words specifically, right? How do you talk? As well as how do you want people to feel when they're reading your content? I think that's just as important. You, I mean, if a social media manager comes in and they're going to put their own brand voice because they haven't, yours isn't consistent, right? It's going to start to feel inauthentic and it's going to start to feel like, wait, what's it, none of this is really me anymore, right? Versus having something that says, this is the language that I use. This is how I want people to feel, right? All those facets of your brand voice go in this document as well. The third thing is a bio and broken up into two things, a professional bio that you send to say you're doing a podcast interview something like that. You need a more, a little lengthier uh, bio to send people. And then you also need like an elevator pitch, not the cheesy elevator pitches, but a one liner that if somebody says, Hey, what do you do? You can answer it in a way that piques their interest, no matter who they are. So it explains what you do in kind of an intriguing way and gets them to go, Ooh, well, that sounds really cool. Or, um, and it just opens up a conversation. You don't want to just say, well, I'm a copywriter. They're like, oh, you know, boring. Open it up in a way that says, well, I'm a spiritual copywriter. I actually write more intuitively than by the book. Like, wait, what? Tell me more, right? Have a one lighter that you can automatically say that draws people in with curiosity. That goes in this document. Again, that helps your social media manager and VAs and all of that too. The next one is your ideal client. And now I, I do talk a lot about that you can have a very broad niche, but ultimately you have an offer, right? You have an offer and a way to work with people and that offer is niched. Who are you talking to in that offer? Are in specifically, what are their hesitations? What does their life look like right now? What are they struggling with and why are they not solving the problem? And how can your offer solve the problem? Okay, writing all of that in this ideal client thing. It's not like where they're at on social media, what do they eat? No, 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 it's none of that. This is like really deep understanding of who your ideal client is. This will be massively helpful when you have someone else writing content for you. And then the last thing is your USP, your unique selling point or unique selling proposition, however you want to call it. It's your uniqueness, right? So why is your offer? Why is your core message? Why is your process different and unique to what other people are doing in your industry? That needs to go in here. You need um, this, I think, is one of the biggest things I see that entrepreneurs don't give themselves enough credit for, they don't give themselves enough credit with how unique and special they are. We tend to think that we're just solving a problem and right. And we don't want to boast. We don't want to be braggy, that kind of thing. So we gloss over what makes us unique, but ultimately it's what makes you unique is why someone hires you. It's why someone goes, I want to work with you aside from the energy and being, um, magnetic and feeling like really good in your energy that, but it's also the way you solve the problem. They're like that is a unique way. I want more of that. Like I've never seen that, never tried it. I want to do that. Right. So I also recommend that after you write this document, that every six months you go back and you tweak it and make sure that it still feels like, yes, this is my mission. This is the direction I'm going. Yep. That's still my ideal client. 
Uh, yep, that's still what makes me unique, right? You want to make sure that this document doesn't gather too much dust because um, it really can serve as a way to guide you on your entrepreneurial journey and help you put the buffers up <laughs> when you feel like you're getting blown off your path. It brings you back to what you're doing, where you're going, right? So, so important. And I write this with every single client when I'm working one-on-one -on -one with them. It, this document, this brand voice document, I want you to be able to take this and um, it's moving forward and use it to hire people, use it to just keep yourself on track, right? And it's key. It's so key. It's been key in my own business as well as my clients' businesses. So. If you want help writing this, know that that happens in one to one. Um, otherwise, reach out if you have questions on those five specific things and how you can really paint the picture a little bit better for yourself. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's it for today. Um, have an awesome, awesome day. Don't forget to write your manifesto. <laughs> write it. Go write it. Go start right now. All right. We'll talk to you later.